This is country, guys. Hi, guys. Luis Arcila here uh, once again. I've been wanting to do this uh, video for a while uh, on on the reason why I listen to country music. You know, me uh, being born being born in Mexico City, and uh, for years. For years, lately it's been a little different, but for years I've uh, I've listened uh, to a lot of country radio, and there's a whole story behind the reason why I listen to country music. But here's here's the main here's like the 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 main reason. Here's the 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 main nugget of why I listen to country music. I, it's, there you go, there you go. Melissa T hanging out with you at 1204. You know what that means? It's the noon hour, which means I'm taking your requests, songs. I'll help you with the uh, jigsaw puzzle. What happened here? Call me, 597-1027. What happened here, guys? Did I miss it? I might have missed it. <laughs> I might have missed it. But anyways, uh, anyways, I, this station, the Coyote, Coyote, Coyote Country, this station, uh, they, they uh, at 12 noon, I know I haven't listened to this you know, in, in a few weeks, and, uh, but at 12 noon, every day at 12 noon, they, they put, a, they put a, a hold and they do the, the anthem, they do the national anthem. And uh, like I said, you know, I was born in Mexico City, and uh, but uh, if I go to Mexico City, I would get lost. I do not know anything about Mexico City. I grew up till about age six. I grew up in the state of Michoacan. Uh, Michoacan is very famous for a lot of crime right now. But so, so uh, what's the point? I lost the point. Let me, I need some uh, help re rewinding the computer. But what was the point? The point is that uh, I grew up in Mexico City. And I, the, for years I've listened to country, country radio, you know, for, for years. And actually since the beginning of, or since the September 11th happening, I, I started listening to country radio. And uh, the reason is that, uh, I mean, I, I'm going to give a little background, a little why I listen to country radio. Uh, back in, in that day, in that one day when uh, September 11 happened, in that one fatal sad day, I was working, we were building a, we were building a, uh, a water treatment plant here in Las Vegas. And I, I can still remember, I went to that job site looking for work. I, I, I went over there looking for work. I had never done, I've been a carpenter. I mean, I worked as a carpenter for the last, the last uh, 17 years of my career, building hotels and casinos. And, and back in, uh, when I went to that job site, it was a water treatment plant. And uh, it was not what I normally do because I normally, the main thing that I did for years was metal stud construction and uh, drywall installation. Basically the two main things that I did for years and years and years. And so here we are, we're over there working at a, at a treatment, water treatment plant in Las Vegas. You know, it's not far. It's, it's, it's uh, maybe 10, maybe 15 miles away from my home right now. And I didn't do, I didn't know crap about I didn't know crap about but I had a great attitude when I went look I remember I still remember like it was yesterday I, I had a great attitude when I went looking for work and I'm thinking man if they hire me I'm not gonna know what the hell to do here because it's uh, it's a side of construction that it's called uh, uh, form work it's form it's it's a side of uh, carpenter carpentry so I'm like if they hire me and they hired me <laughs> And I'm like, dude, what am I gonna do? So I hooked up with this one guy, his name was Pete. I remember uh, till, you know, like if it was yesterday, I remember Pete. And Pete was a redneck. 
and he listens to this stuff all the time. He listens to that stuff all the time, and you know, he uh, he helped me, guys. I mean, he, you know, we hooked up, and and I was, uh, you know, I was always uh, let's get it done. I was, I've never been a lazy type of type of a person. So, you know, we clicked with Pete, and and he helped me because I didn't know what the hell we were doing, but I would help him. I would, you know, I would be there, and I would help this guy. And the guy was way taller than me and bigger. And and you know strong, and uh, and that's when I started listening to country music. We worked with Pete for about a good six months on that project, and uh, later on I saw Pete at, at at a few different job sites where where I was doing what I normally do, which is metal stud construction. So uh, that's just a little. But I wanted to I wanted to show you why because I thought. I thought they were gonna play at 12 noon. They normally play the anthem, and uh, and you know, I mean, hey, and I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid to uh, to uh, stand up and put my, my my hand right here and say and say go USA, and uh, but that's one of the reasons. I mean, I then my my parents brought me here illegally when I was about seven years old. They they crossed me. You know, they crossed me to the United States illegally when I was uh, seven years old. And then there's a whole other story that I'm gonna put. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing blogging. I just, I just signed up as a, uh, as a uh, Empower Network affiliate last night, and uh, the training is unreal. But let's, listen, uh, guys, my main business, my main business, my uh, priority. It's not the word is not priority, but my my main business is Vital Wireless. I always have a link at the bottom of my uh, video, and uh, you can click and you can get the info, and uh, we can hook up. We can get you started. We can make money. We can make a couple hundred dollars quickly in in, in a couple of weeks in a month. And, uh, and then it grows. You can make some very nice income. Uh, uh, contact me and I can invite you to one of our, one of our presentations where, where, where we can show you how you can increase your, your income by $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 a month. Uh, um, yeah, that's possible too. But what I meant was to say yearly income. So, uh, I will be doing videos, videos, uh, right now my goal is to do uh, a video a day for the next 30 days, so, and uh, my first video was bad, but I'm getting better, and uh, thank you so much for, for coming and seeing the, the Luis Arcila show, thank you so much, bye bye.